from the Carib Royale Resort, which has become a bit of a hot spot for boxing tonight. It marks the return of Jake Paul. For as long as you've been doing this, people have been saying, fight a real boxer. Andre August. Andre August. I don't think that we've seen a guy like this fight Jake yet. He's a free time Texas Golden Glove champion. 10 and 1. It's a pretty impressive record for a guy that Jake would be fighting in only his ninth fight. He's not an old MMA star. He's a boxer. He's been a boxer forever. He's a very dangerous opponent. He has never had the uh, platform that you're now providing for him. This could well be August's Rocky story. It's a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. If he pulls this off, he's automatically one of the biggest combat stars. People don't know how dedicated I am to this. People don't know my boxing ability. He's not motivated by money. He's motivated by respect. Yeah. I don't need the money. I don't need any of these things. I've generated a quarter of a billion dollars in gross pay-per-view sales. He wants to build respect and actually become a legit world champion. I like to show for the generation below me that even if people say you can't do something, go right ahead and do it. He's risking everything he's built up to now. Many industry analysts feel that August's well-rounded skill set and flexibility will be the factors that lead to Paul's downfall. People say impossible. I say, let's find out. getting so comfortable. Everything is becoming second nature and just falling more and more in love with the sport on a daily basis. Going through a loss made me reset my focus. I basically say that I feel like I started boxing after that loss. Up top, baby. I can't just go in and knock everyone out with one punch. And there's a lot more to be done here in this sport. So it was a reset and a check on myself to go even harder and to leave no holes. You don't really like look back at the wins and say, what could I have done better? And so you just kind of move on because you got the win. So. The loss was amazing and I'm, I'm so thankful for it and that's really been the a shift in everything uh, for me personally in my life and having to see what I'm truly made of and facing one of my biggest fears which was losing. That was really powerful and has helped me a lot. Come on baby! Another great camp baby, we did it. Now it's time to go out and present this ass whooping on a motherfucking platter, baby. Let's get it, dawg. That's a cap. Oh. Orlando, December 15th. Oh. We are coming. Here we go. Orlando. All aboard. Quick little business trip. Get a little sparring session, get a paycheck for it. Maybe get a little submission for a knockout of the year. I don't know, maybe. Are you enjoying that coffee? Uh, quite. What I'm gonna need y'all to do is like and subscribe. It's a family business, you know? So a lot of mouths to feed, a lot of large men, over 175 pounds or so. We eat a lot. Here, God, show me your bicep. Show me. He needs like, a lot of food. So we need a lot of post notifications on and subscribers to f fill the team's mouth mouths. You want the subscribers to fill our mouths? What up, vlog? Oh my god, I haven't been on a vlog in so long. You guys probably think he fired me for using him. <laughs> he didn't yet. <laughs> You want an inspirational speech, is that what you want? Yeah. See, that's yeah. that's where the problem lies, is peons like yourself needing some sort of inspirational speech to get them through the fucking day. I'm talking about commitment. Committing to the goals and what you're supposed to do regardless if you're inspired or not. <sighs> inspire me if you're relying on a fucking quote in a gym 
or a YouTube video or a David Goggins to get you to do something, you're never going to do it by your fucking self. Commit to your goals. Oh, oh, how are you so motivated, Jake? How are you so inspired? I'm not any of that shit. I'm not going to lie, I felt inspired. Bro, this is trippy as hell. This is fire. Yo. Brandon, Jasper, and Ethan. Basketball player. You wanna show the people? I'm my natural habitat. Another oh. secret door? Fuck off. <laughs> no, who the fuck picked this house? This wasn't in any of the pictures. There's a leaf on our bed door. Come on. Come on, baby. I'm getting like establishing shots. You know like in documentaries when they show like the surrounding area mm -hmm. before they get like inside a crib? Right. They always show like the outside. You're in some cool ass frames with you in it too though. <laughs> so I know some mean motherfuckers are always outside. <laughs> I wanted someone serious. A 10 and 1 record. More wins than anyone I've fought to this point. 5k, I was more experienced, more knockouts than me. It's gonna be a dogfight of, of who wants it more. can't just go in there and take on some journeymen with a terrible record and just go in there and smoke the guy. I need harder rounds on my path to world champion and getting that experience under the lights. You can't fake it, you can't take shortcuts. I'm just facing it now and challenging myself, which is what I've always done. A real breakfast of champions. I feel like people are watching me eat or something. <laughs> no, definitely not. You know, going into all of these fights, it's always been like, we don't know what's gonna happen. That's what makes people interested to watch. Yo, are you recording me? Yo, are you filming me? Alright. What do you mean? Like you're just you're not recording though, right? You're just on the you're just putting it on the tripod. Yeah, it's just a tripod. What's that uh, red light that's like blinking? Oh, that's just uh, it creates energy inside. It's like a Tesla battery. It's actually charging the phone. Ah. Uh, yeah, definitely not recording. Like it's chill if you're around here and stuff, you know, but I'm just trying to lay low. You know, if you don't know like what a celebrity's up to and then you're like more interested, that's oh, yeah. that's what I'm going for. You're not recording, right? No. Oh. Oh, what the fuck? Bro, I was just about to climax. <laughs> Marcos! Marcos, I need your help. We got a little boxing bullies event quickly. It's for the kids. I just want to give a message to y'all about what boxing did for me. Don't be mean to each other. That's my number one piece of advice. Treat everybody with love and respect and try to uplift everyone around you. If you do that, life will be so good for you and so good to you. <laughs> hey, isn't that the I love you guys. We're gonna do some pictures. I hope everyone's doing great.
That's some hey. superhero stuff. That's impacting little kids, man. That's superhero stuff. I love you guys. I love you guys. So stoked. Logan is about to join us. So we're gonna give Logan a warm welcome to camp. Congrats on your viral video doing the splits around the world. Crowd cheering sound effect. WWE crowd cheering. We love you. Congrats on your viral video doing the splits around the world. That was like eight years ago. Congrats. Look at the noise. Crowd cheer sound effect. WWE crowd cheer. Man, you guys are you guys are fucking weird. I'm telling you, bro, if he shaves his mustache, you're the boy who lived. <laughs> the last person that told me to shave my mustache regretted it. I'm not saying do it, I'm saying if you did, there would be dementors flying around this house. <laughs> oh fuck, listen, um, thanks bro, I feel welcome. You guys wanna hang out? Uh, yeah, that'd be great. Yeah, the pool water's great. You can actually drink the pool water. Why would I even do that? <laughs> It's spring fed. You, it's, oh yeah. <laughs> You're not recording, right? No. no. Spring fed, huh? I gotta FaceTime my fiance. I have a fucking whole ass fiance, which is crazy. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. You know, these things happen. Let's see what my fiance has to say about that. Hi, babe. Hey, babe. Just hanging out. Oh. Who's that taking a, a wee back there? That's Jake. Oh, are you weeing too? No, no, no. I'm just Marcus. hanging out. Oh, I'm just hanging out. Pull your pants up. What the fuck? <laughs> What's up? How are you up? doing, Jakey? I'm ready to frickin' rumble. Let's fucking <laughs> rumble. You should go to Rumble in New York. What was that noise? Like... What was that firecracker noise? It was my balls clapping against my <laughs> leg. <laughs> Made it. Nina. Yep. You rock. <laughs> Are you sick? This place. Am I sick? This place. You sound stuffy. This place rocks. No, no, I'm not. Well, you sound stuffy. Don't you try to fool us. <laughs> <laughs> hey, nice shirt. I just noticed it. You just noticed it? I actually, yeah. I just, yeah. Just what noticed. are you doing with those eyeballs behind that camera then, huh? The international superstar, the ESP Ringside's 2021 Knockout of the Year Award winner. We are here for you today. One of Sports Illustrated's 2023 most influential people in sports. He wants to grow boxing, he wants to become a champion, and he has a chance to take one big step in that direction Friday night. Please welcome to the stage. He is the problem child, Jake Hall. a war but i just believe i'm more skilled i'm gonna pick them apart and show the world that i'm the better boxer we'll see this in 15. we'll see i doubt he's gonna even land a punch so sloppy feet all that for him so he called you sloppy man man i'm gonna leave all that talking i'm gonna leave all that talking for them women that is not me <laughs> did your coach tell you that i dropped him in sparring too see he knows what i'm talking about he says that was last summer <laughs> He knows what I'm talking about. Y'all be quiet over there. You're welcome for being here. I hope you guys like the hotel rooms that I got you. Enjoy it. It's your last week in the sport of boxing, guys. Have fun. First round, brother. First round. You ready? Problem child is back. Jake Paul, one-on-one -on -one against Andre August. My own Celsius. No way. Gosh. Jake Paul vibe. Let's go. How do you feel going into this fight, Jay, after the press conference, seeing the face to face? I feel good, man. I, I think that was needed. You know what I'm saying? Like, when you face to face, you get ready to, you get to feel his energy. You know what I'm saying? You don't know too much about Andre August. He was a man of uh, many words. 
<laughs> he really wasn't talkative, but what he did say is that they made the wrong phone call. Calling him was the wrong thing to do, so. The scary part about this, just don't know his full capabilities as far as Andre August. Jake is just, he's ready to go. They said he wouldn't fight a real fighter. We got a real fighter. A real fighter. This fight is all about experience for Jake. Yes, it's business, but it's not as usual. This is a different fight. Pro boxer, 10-1-1. I know you got this. Let's go, baby. We easy love you. W, easy W. We fly all around the world to see Jake Paul, bro. Every time he has a fight, we're there. Like KO, just like Wood. He's looking to make a statement. No MMA fighters, no influencers. He wants to win world titles. This is how you do it. Hey, don't start a fight this time. <laughs> I never started. But this motherfucker, I definitely punched right here. And the one and only Jake Paul. First start knocking over a pro boxer would be quite impressive. This is the new phase of Jake Paul's career. As he would say, wants to become a world champion one day. I know you're a man of psychological warfare. What did you see out of your opponent? I just don't think he knows what's coming. It's one of those things where, for him right now, ignorance is bliss, and that's what I see. So it's gonna be a rude awakening in the first round for him. Good to meet you, bro. Are we on the stream? Let's are, go. Man. Let's go. What up? How are we? I'm here with the squad. Fucking Jake Hey, Ball, this is guys. crazy. Started with me watching it on the other side of the screen. And here we are. Thank you all. No, y'all are amazing. Did you guys meet the team? I've met a lot of these guys. They're all amazing. Look, guys. Look at this. Whole squad. Whole squad. How's it going? Yeah. So cool to meet you guys. I'm about to put this boy to sleep tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Just the way you need it to be, baby. We are back. Orlando, Florida. I just want to say I love y'all. For real. All this has started from me and one of these iPhones like this and y'all watching. So thank you. And just goes to show that y'all can accomplish anything you set your mind to start today. Knocking them out. Love y'all. Peace. So we just got this email. Hi, a message to Jake from my six-year-old super fan son. We're from Ireland and have the biggest six-year-old fan in the world who wants to see his idol fight for Christmas. We've decided to flip our worlds upside down and take him to Orlando to see you. His dad is willing to leave his job in case they don't approve the days off. Wow. I'm just wondering if you could send him a little video or anything, please. So we just got this. So I think we're, we should surprise him and bring him into the locker room and meet him before the fight. feeling really good and I'm gonna do really good and I'm gonna feel great and I'm gonna punch him and that's how I feel I love doing interviews the storm is on the way <laughs> calm before the, the storm the storm is on the way what up G what up a couple things going on tonight yeah yeah nothing crazy or anything Hello ladies and gentlemen, we are live in Orlando, Florida, the Sunshine State for the return of the problem child. Oh shit, what up? Good to see you, man. How are you? Ready to roll tonight? Let's go. Good, let's do it. Let's go. It's Welcome good. to the club, bro. Pretty... Tonight, Jake Paul squares off against professional boxer Andre August. Let's fucking go, Jake. Jake, round one. I got Andre August, third round knockout. Shut Andre, up. you going to sleep tonight. Andre by knockout. I got fucking Jake, bro. Welcome to the sold out Carib Royale Orlando for a night of world class boxing action. Oh! Oh my 
return of Jake Paul. As he faces Andre August to win Winston We're not afraid of risk at all. I've been taking risks my whole entire life. This is where it all started, was taking challenges. Okay, so what do you want to accomplish tonight? A knockout, and I'm going to. You're going to see a different fighter. Obviously, been working hard this whole entire year, and this is going to be my best performance yet. <laughs> How are you? You came all the way from Ireland? It's my guy. First fight ever? I love it, bro. All right, don't, don't blink. You might miss it. Stay focused. Touch him up. Here we go, live from Orlando, Florida. He's always had good footwork. He usually uses it to circle out, and now he's bouncing in and bouncing out. They both landed hard. How will Andre August come out? He's really mixing up the combination of punches. Nice right shot to the rib cage. Andre needs to be careful about ducking down. I think that it's a bit too much, too soon for Jake Paul. You know, why doesn't Jake fight a real boxer? I am not impressed. Not one bit. You're distinctly average, but that is a compliment. He has to face real opponents. Lights out. A first round knockout. I said first round knockout all week. Your winner by knockout, the problem child, Jade Paul. A beautiful right uppercut. Beautiful knockout, man. Did he deliver? Absolutely. This is all part of the process. The next step to world champion. This young man stands here to motivate kids around the world and he's doing it day by day. I'm happy to share my last name with you, my man. <laughs> I love you so much. It's about the larger narrative for Jake Paul, who's really trying to author, in his own words, the greatest sports story of all time. Boxing gave me a purpose and a, and a path and, and I proved everyone wrong and I worked so hard. This is about showing kids out there, anyone out there, that no matter how many people are doubting you, no matter where you're from, no matter what your circumstances, if you want something and you work at it, you can accomplish that. That's how you do it! I got fucking next! This is bigger than Jake Paul, this is bigger than pay-per-views, and this is about a legacy. This is about changing the world. My goal is to become the world champion. And do you believe that's realistic? Nothing in my life is realistic. So I've never lived inside the boundaries of anything possible. So why start now? With that being said, I'm honored to announce that I'm partnering with USA Boxing. Jake Paul and his team continue to surprise me. Go big or go home. This is awesome for USA Boxing. As the Olympics approach, I will be training with the Olympians in Colorado Springs and accompanying them to Paris this July to amplify our country's best boxers. This is something that's a big stepping stone. Jake still has that I want to change the world vibe to him. This is going to be the most watched boxing in the Olympics. 
I feel that it's my responsibility to do that for these fighters and for Team USA, baby. Love you guys. Thanks for coming on this journey with me.